What's up? We're talking about how this guy's better than Kaucharo for Yinlin. It's not if you if you're comparing in terms of with Yinlin. But I don't have the map though, but JD is telling me that uh people are saying that this guy with S1 is better than Kaucharo with Yinlin. Yeah. Like Kaucharo is good by himself. Like by himself, Kaucharo and Yuan Wu, Kaucharo is way better than him than, than this guy by by himself. But with Yin Lin in the picture, uh, this guy was better with Jin Lin than Kao Charo was with Jin Lin. Because, first of all, okay, so let's explain this. So when I'm looking at Jin Lin's forte skill, right, it's based on every time it gets uh, damage, right? Because then every time she goes into what, these, uh, she goes, she can put a punishing mark, right? Yeah, put a punishing mark. And then this guy attacks way faster than Kao Charo when he has the s1 right he has the s1 here which gives him 20 percent attack speed like without this he's not better but with this he's better and he's a four star right so it's easy to get him s1 so just just by having that he can attack way faster I mean, let me just yeah so when you go lightning infused mode is either when he ults when he ults he goes lightning infused or when he hold his e when his bar is full he also goes into lightning infusement so that's the way he works and apparently when you have the punishing mark on the character on the enemy and then I believe when Yinlin does the does the forte circuit thing which puts the punishment mark. So every time the target gets hit, uh judgment thunder will fall on them. And since this guy attacks so fast with the attack speed buff, it's gonna judgment Please. judgment thunder to keep hitting the enemy over and over and over, right? But it's mostly because of the passive skill. Uh, I mean, because of the forte and obviously the intro outro skills or more of the outro skills because outro increases electro damage and liberation damage. And this guy does quite a bit with liberation, he hits twice with liberation. Uh, and he does get that, uh, that quite, pretty often, not a lot. <laughs> so his, his most of his big damage comes from liberation and his basic attacks. And then he just he can easily just spam his E, right? This, this thing, not the big chunk of the damage, but it also does the coordinate attack. Which I don't know, it probably counts another hit, right? Towards that forte circuit thing. So that's gonna be a that's gonna be kinda crazy. <laughs> when you put this pillar down and then you're attacking with lightning infusement and stuff. Yeah, he's easier to play. You just spam the basic and you just spam E. Uh, and then when you have an ult, just ult. Um, you can also try to pace yourself to be lightning infusement. You just could you could probably pace himself by also lightning infusement. Like if you ult. And then you wait for your ult to run out of lightning infusement, then you do your skill, then you go back in lightning infusement, and you do it again. But you just stay in super saiyan mode. Right? I don't know. Lightning everywhere? Yeah, it's like this pillar, he has coordinated attack every like one and a half second. Every time you hit an enemy in the circle, it'll, it'll also get hit by the pillar. 